In our news this half hour, we do have an item exclusive. A family on Staten Island is angry. After they say their car was seized by NYPD officers with no paperwork explaining why, no other explanation. And they're asking, was it a case of racial profiling? Our investigative reporter Sarah Wallace has more on their story. I'm talking about this car because it's only being singled out his car. Jolyn Alvis took this cell phone video of her black Mercedes being towed on the orders of Staten Island cops because she says without evidence, no one would believe her story and her son's. Like if I didn't video this and I told a story, this would go away dismissed as I must be lying. They just see a young black kid in a nice car. It's just like he must be doing something wrong. This is Nick Adenikin's car. It's registered to his mom. Last weekend, Nick, who's home from college, says he legally parked the car on this block in the Great Kills neighborhood to go look for a friend. There's a bunch of cops on this house. My car was like around the block. Nick says when he came back, the same cops from the 122nd Precinct were surrounding his car, and this female officer confronted him. He claims no one asked to see his license or registration. And she just turned her lights on and said, I can't get in my car. I asked, why can't I get in my car? She said, you're not the registered owner. Did they explain why they wanted to take the car? She didn't. She said, uh, I asked her why. She said she couldn't tell me because it was under investigation, and I'm not the registered owner. That's why I called my mom. She said, I'm doing an investigation. I said, it has nothing to do with my son. That I know. So what's the investigation about? She said, all I could tell you is it's guns, drugs, and a stabbing. Am I under arrest? Or am, am I a part of an investigation or something? It's my car. Am I a part of an investigation? You can arrest me. Take me. She said, I'm not under arrest. What are you investigating? And they had no right to take it. They had no right to, to, to have him there. They had no right to tell him not to touch his car. They have no right to touch his car. The car put on a flatbed truck. You can hear what sounds like the front being scraped against the pavement. <laughs> The family says they went to the 122nd Precinct and waited several more hours, insisting they weren't leaving without the Mercedes. A detective finally led them to the car, the front with major damage. This is more cell phone video. Yo, wait a minute. Nah, who's fixing the bumper? This is very, it's $9,000 in damage to fix it. Nick says it was clear the car had been searched. He never gave anyone his keys. You could tell somebody had ran through my car trying to look for something or try and do something in it. Alva says she's been to the 122nd Precinct three times in the past week to get a report and has run into one roadblock after another. She recorded her conversations. This is the scene because it was damaged here. There's not a voucher. There's no paperwork. There's nothing. There's no tow papers. The family has filed a complaint with Internal Affairs and says they're not going away quietly. They believe their experience is exactly the reason why people are protesting. I want them to fix his car, and I sure want NYPD to apologize to him. It's not about suing because he doesn't need their money. It's about you're going to apologize and not treat my son like he's any different hanging out on another side of Staten Island on the South Shore because it's Caucasian. We did reach out to the police department, and we're told there is an active internal investigation. From the New York section of Staten Island, Sarah Wallace, News 4 New York.